As early as 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, friends, family, well wishes lined up outside the General Court Marsh in Makindye to witness the bail hearing of ex police chief General Kali Kaihura. This went through checkups and identification at the premises. The mood in Makindye town was, however, different from that at the court. Many Boda Boda riders were riding their motorcycles in excitement as they waited for what would transpire in court. An hour later, lawyers of General Kalikaihura arrived at the army court and thereafter, the accused was seen at the court premises. Kaihura last Friday denied charges which are failing to protect war materials and one on aiding and abetting kidnap commission. This attract a maximum sentence of death. In the quest for bail, Kaihura's legal team presented for grounds for his release. One, that it is his constitutional right to apply for bail. Two, that the former IGP is of advanced age. Three, that Kaihura is sick and needs specialized treatment abroad. And four, that he has substantial sureties to stand for him. Three people stood surety for the former police chief. These are Major General Sam Kavma, the Deputy Commander of Land Forces, Major General James Mugira, Managing Director and the CEO of National Enterprise Corporation, which is the business arm of the UPDF, and Rosemary Tumusime, the MP of Entebbe Municipality. Four hours later, grim of satisfaction immediately impressed on General Kalikai Horace face as soon as General Court Marshal Chairman Lieutenant General Andrew Guti declared that, with all factors considered, there was no reason he shouldn't be granted bail. In default of, the, of any of the above conditions, bail shall be cancelled. We saw rule done at the marking day. This 28th day of August 2018, under my hand and seal of this court. Even before the official declaration, the military courtroom erupted into jubilation, punctuated with hugs and high fives among us, Kaihura's supporters. They knew their man had secured his freedom. However, prosecution team had earlier argued against Kaira being granted bail, saying that he may interfere with ongoing investigations. But in his ruling, Guti said that while the offenses against Kaira are of a very serious nature and attract a maximum sentence of death, his court had put into consideration a number of factors to grant him bail. The considerations were that Kaihura has never been convicted before by any court. He is of advanced age, he requires urgent medical treatment, and that he has the required number of sureties to support him. After granting the former IGP bail, Guti set a number of conditions tied on the bail. Kaihura is restricted to traveling within only Kampala and Wakiso districts, and if he is to move beyond the said areas, he requires permission from either the army court or the military leadership. He is also to report to court once every month on the first Monday. He is known to travel out of the country except with permission from either the army court or the military leadership. Kaihura has to also report to court as and when required.